Okay, so these are the linear brackets for the Ender 3 bed. Should look familiar. It's basically the Y bracket off the fives, um, extended seven inches on each side. I haven't really done a whole lot of fitting, but um, you know, the distance on the wheels are the same on the Y as they are on the three. So uh, eSun PLA Plus. It's not the prettiest print, um, honest to God. Somehow the uh, temperature got set to uh, 215, should be between 205 and 208. I'm not sure exactly what happened on that. Um, not bad. So what you gotta do is you gotta put these screws in, uh, these nuts. So a couple things to prepare these. Um, if you printed it with a brim, and go ahead and just trim the sides off. Um, not that important. You can leave them on there if you want. Also, I like to scrape these tops. This is where it's going to be sitting on the bed. So we're just going to give it a flat scrape. Make sure we don't have any high spots sticking up. Okay. From here, we have a screw. Calipers are here somewhere. So I believe these are the screws we're going to want to use. Looks to me like it's a 12. So it's an M4 12 millimeter. You can see that point is going to be sticking out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come over here with our screwdriver. It's not great. I need to try to get it flat. So we'll do that by screwing our screw in and you're going to see that'll somewhat flatten it out here it's like I grabbed one that's got a little bit of material here just going to scrape it out with this pick these picks I have three of these these things are awesome um, alright so I got that all scraped out we should be good to go here let's try again of course, I have to work with the camera between me and the part, which is a little bit more difficult, but we'll get her there. Okay, so you see, I use this screw to kind of manipulate the position if needed. So what we want to do is we just want to pop it right in. See that? So I'm going to do the other one. Usually not as difficult. Go ahead and like I said, these are really stringy because this PLA, uh, PLA Plus does not do this for me, son. But way too hot. If you look at the yellow ones, um, and those things came out perfect. You can't even see the lines in them. Same deal. You can grab a 4 millimeter nut and basically need that point centered. So there you go. This one's going to pop right in, it looks like. So I got it right in the right spot. And right there you see, now I don't have it all the way pushed in, it doesn't have to be flat. We'll use the screw. And if it's not sitting in there perfect, you can pop the screw and a lot of the times that'll make it sit true. It looks like I might have to do that with this one. So we're just gonna take it and pop it one time. And then see if we can get our screw started all right and then I got the screw started with the tap and then we're just going to pull this down into its spot and then take our screw out I thought about putting t-nuts in here but the problem with that is not everybody has t-nuts and these do work good as long as you don't get aggressive on tightening them down tightening them down all right there you go so there's our screw set. Now very simply, we want to make sure these holes are cleaned out. If there's any debris in them, take a screw, four millimeter, or no, this is a three millimeter, take a three millimeter screw and clean.
you got a drill bit, you could use that. A lot of times, the just the threads will grab a hold of the material you need to remove and pull it out of there. Same deal here. So the reason why we want these holes to be cleaned is because this is where your adjustment is. So the little bit of movement around these screws and the holes is your, your only adjustment if you need any. Um, these right here don't need, it's not like the, oops, sorry. It's not like the X, the X rails, a um, lot tougher to get set up. Um, there's a lot of loosening and tightening of the screws and wiggling stuff around to get everything to sit just right. Um, all right, so we're ready to go now. Get our, oh, Grab our other screws. And I have two of these. I'm not trying to remember which one is which. Seems to me like, okay, so the screws we want, it looks like to me, these are M3s. I was able to buy these black ones, a bag of 100, pretty cheap. So I bought these years ago. Right. We got a little leg griller. Allen wrench. All right, so straightforward. Beauty. So I didn't even test these the four millimeter holes to see if they even fit the plate. I'm being extremely arrogant here. Uh, we'll do that here in a second. So on these, you don't want to crank down crazy because you can deform the actual plastic. So you just want them snug. And there you go. And that's where the bed will sit right there on the one side. And this will be the one on the other side. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the other one. These actually are one of the first linear things I built and they came out really good. Kind of inspired me to do a lot of the other linear stuff. And I love my linear rails. They're, I mean, there's a lot of people don't like them. There's no shortage of opinions in the world. But uh, for me, love them. A couple things. You want to have the high wind carriages. Um, and you want to have Marlin 2.0 if you're doing this. You want a real smooth version of Marlin 2.0. Um, you want to make sure all your acceleration and speed settings are... Um, toned down a little bit like they should be anyways um, the ones on the default Marlin are extremely aggressive so our next screw basically a flathead and I believe on a flathead you measure from the top of the head which is going to make this an 8 millimeter. So very simply, that is a three millimeter. These are three millimeter sliding T-nuts. They slide. That's better to make sure that uh, everything is mounted firmly. And uh, so just basically just get all these started. And how many? I'm thinking thinking four on this 300 millimeter rail so that's what this is a 300 millimeter it is a MGN 9 and it is a crap all right I should finish that coffee in the house is it an H or a C I think the H is the bigger one yeah. oh well all right so we got two four six eight ten twelve so that's centered looks like we're gonna go ahead and put one I'll go four and four that'll be fine And 
next. So we had skipped three. And that gives me, yeah, that works for me, five in the middle, we're good. Okay, so that's what you got right there. And we'll go ahead and do the other one up. All right, so very simply, we're gonna take this and we're gonna slide our sliding T-nuts into their grooves. Woo, I didn't get that one tight enough. Take this off right here. All right. Okay, so I got it on here, and I do see one little problem, and that is. Oh no, it is hitting the switch perfectly. How about that? That might still be a problem. We're gonna have to find out if where that switch is hitting actually gets the nozzle to the front of the bed. Okay, we used our little uh, belt adjustment tool. Just make sure you have it lined up straight up and down. Set it to where you want it. Hold your bracket straight. Check your belt. Probably a little tight. Um, so this came out good, so I didn't have my little tool that clips on here to help you line these up. I think they're lined up good. Um, remember when you're dealing with linear, there is a break in period. So this right here, loose right here, it's a little tight. Okay. So this is what, this is a linear that has been on forever. loose as can be same with this one this one's even looser just very very loose though once you get them broken um they're awesome this is going back a little bit too far and our new style bracket that holds our chain on is hitting right here there's not enough space so this probably should be sitting right here so I'm going to go ahead and screw it all back together and get the exact measurement I'm off. We're not lined up right. We're going to have to get this lined up better. I can feel it binding. We will. Very common. Um, not having the clips to get these bars on straight. I'm sure that's probably exactly what's wrong. Um, I'm going to go ahead and print one of those up. Okay, so we made this tool for lining up these rails. What you're gonna do is clip it on the side. You'll see right here, just mounts on the side. Loosen them all up. Clip this on, tighten this screw right here. Not super tightened down, just kind of snug. Actually, no, you know what, just tighten it down. Um, you should be able to slide this down. Go ahead and tighten your second screw. Now, once you have two in, that's it. The other two are gonna be determined by where these sit. It's in a groove, so it'll be in the groove. Do the same thing on the other side, because you can't, on mine, I have a chase down here. I think for a lot of people, you can clip it on back here. If you can clip it on back here, go ahead and clip it on. For me, I have the chase from the mo uh, from the chain system down here, so it won't clip on. But I have this nice, it's beautiful. Um, no hangups. I don't feel anything in the ball bearings. Um, my belt is a little bit on the tight side. So I'm gonna loosen up my belt, 
put this all back together. Now there's one other thing you have to do. And I'm going to show you how to do this here. There's a little bit of wobble on your screws. So, I think the thing to do is just put them against the screw heads. Make sure it's on the screw heads and just bring it up. And uh, you just want to make sure that the bed stays lined up um, best you can. It's not going to matter a whole lot. It's not going to throw your print off. It's just more of making sure your printer is all squared up. Um, that is all. I'm going to put it back together and uh, she's uh, a skookum teacher. couple afterthoughts after compiling the video um, one is there was a little bind that I showed in the video that came that went away with a combination between putting the tool on these rails um, and also uh, loosening I loosened up the screws on the carriages and kind of wiggled the bed around a little bit like that and then tighten it down and uh, it's, it's good to go I did a print on it um, it's still gonna have to break in but I can tell it's even with these cheap carriages they they might make it so that's it's very smooth um, for starting out so I yanked on that bed and I was gonna be able to pull it off there's no doubt Here's the stop bracket. Um, the top of the bracket has to ride right here, so it actually comes over here. But down here, it hits right here. 